Spencer and good morning, good morning, good morning. And can you believe it? I thought we would never be able to get here again. I am so excited. We are at our safari zone of our giant international zoo. This is this is absolutely amazing. I really did never think we would be able to get here again. And all of the creatures that are here waiting for us. We just had to wait until Ben could fix the meteor crashing threats that we had. And now that they're fixed, ah, and everybody is getting pregnant. Oh, that's so exciting. Oh my goodness, you know, I never really noticed this little, this little figurine before. It looks kind of like a penguin. Doesn't it kind of look like a little penguin? Look at it. It is like a little penguin, just staring me right in the face. Oh, that's adorable. Oh, and meerkats! <gasps> I forgot we even had meerkats! This is going to be so exciting! To get to tour the whole area. Oh my gosh, look at the arachnids! I forgot we even had arachnids! Look at that chumpy spider! Oh, is that so bloody? Oh, I see you! Oh, 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 somebody thinks he's a sass pot. Yeah, you think you're so tough? Come back out here. I want to look at you again. Oh, it's so cute. Actually, tarantulas are an exceptionally fascinating arachnid species. What, which we... Uh, ha! Oh my gosh. That probably would scare some of the guests off to death. Ooh, and scorpions. Oh. oh no, and the lemur is sick. Oh no, okay. We're going to have to jump straight into the lemur exhibit, it seems. Alright, let's get down in here. What's causing the issues down here, my little one? I forgot we even had lemurs down here. Let's see. I'm not feeling very well, huh? Well, we'll have to come over here. It seems like everything's doing okay right now. So we'll have to go over there in a bit, but oh my gosh, I forgot how absolutely gorgeous. How hard we worked here. No wonder I was so sad when we had to leave due to all the crashy issues. But now it is fixed and we're able to roam about. I don't even remember what kind of creature Joan is. <gasps> Look at the little beetle. Is that not the cutest thing? Oh, little beetle. Oh no, you fell over. Come on, you can get back up. Oh my gosh, I could stare at these guys forever. But, oh, there's our sand cats. Our sand cats. Oh my gosh. It has been too long. Sand cats are absolutely amazing. I love the size of their ears. Look at these arches with the torches. I didn't even remember doing that. Oh, wow. This is why they hire us worldwide, you know is because we make the kind of exhibits where you turn around and you look at them ages and ages later and you're just so impressed. Oh, is there a little bit of we mating going on here? Or are we just, nope, we're fighting for the... <laughs> we're just busy fighting between one, one another. Oh, for a snooze spot, apparently. This is just, this is just snoozy spot fighting. Oh, gracious. Oh, and you know what? These rocks seem to be kind of blocking them. Oh my gosh, I forgot we even had... There we go. Alright, that rock actually seemed to be causing a lot of problems. The tortoises need a nice, flat, open area. We have white rhinoceri! <laughs> I don't even remember any of these things. Oh, it's gonna be amazing spending a few days just exploring here. Getting back in touch with this area. Why is there a high fence here? This shouldn't be a high fence. This should be a nice low fence, if you ask me. Hmm, like this little safari wall? Because people can't see what they're doing. And I doubt the tortoise is whoops a daisy. We don't want to take out that tree in turn. That's a very nice tree. There we go. And let's go ahead. There, see? I'm sure they won't mind if they're staring at each other. And how are you two doing? Oh, there's so many people here. I forgot how this is one of our most popular zoos. Hey, little guy, what's up? Are you having some wee issues here? Oh, look at those aloe vera! Alright, the desert monitor is feeling... Uh-oh. Okay, good. I was worried that was a, a desert monitor that had perhaps um, experienced a little bit of being nommed on, but it seems to be okay. Alright, come here, you. You're feeling a little bit exposed. Need a little bit of privacy. Being silly with the rocks. Alright, let's put you over there. I might have to speak again about the rock thing. Alright, so that's that desert monitor. I totally forgot we had him. But they do have a nice warm area. Where is he going? To investigate the food dish. That one's investigating the water. Nice! Oh, we have some meerkats passing away from old age. We'll have to keep an eye out on that. Oh, look at him! Is he actually going to use it? It's so rare that I get to see them actually use this little pond. Oh, he's climbed right in! 
are you happy? Oh my gosh, that's too cool. I wanna, I'm, okay, let's see if we can, no, stay there, just a second. I just want, come on, let me get a little picture of you. Oh, he just turned around and like settles back in. Ah, it's snoring! That's the cutest thing. He's just like snoozy doozy. Oh, that's amazing. All right, so s apparently we have some smelly exhibits. I don't even, oh, hello, little one. And look at these aloe vera. Jeez, they're beautiful. I kind of want to like take those aloe vera and replace all these plants with them. We should do that. We should make like a little rock desert garden. Oh, and we've got brisk business going on over here. Oh, did I bump into something? A table little bathroom like this like a nice little desert thing like this we'll have to change that one out just a bit and I forgot how chaotic this got <laughs> oh my I wonder if we can fix that we're just gonna have to trust that the zookeepers can take care of uh, any of the big problems for just a moment and let's see if we can <laughs> I don't think we can fix this but we're gonna do our best uh, I don't think we can because the the roof is already on and you know how zoning and all those kinds of regulations get when the roof's already on. Alright, let's get a smaller shovel. Can we just in encourage it a little bit? Okay, that just made like, um, no. Um. This is why you should ever let me hold that, that shovel in my hands in turn. I don't even know how we're going to fix this. Oh, not even five minutes and I'm already making a mess of the roads. Why? Why? This is awful. Oh my goodness. Hang on, sir. We have a small, a small issue. Um. Eh. At least, okay, we got that part fixed. All right. Well, I guess we wanted to remove these plants anyway. Huh. Welcome back to this <laughs> this zone, intern. So glad to have you here. Isn't it awesome? Yeah, let's just go ahead. We'll see if we can sell this fountain. Oh, look, we fixed it. Now we just need to put the fountain back if we can. I hope we can. <laughs> My goodness. Ah, not enough headroom to place the fountain. Well, actually, let's see. Let's pop up top then. My goodness, intern. This is why people need to not leave me alone with the road tools because I'm not very, very established with the uh, preventing them from having these kinds of accidents. All right, let's come down here. Maybe we'll just leave the roof off so it can like, oh, come on. So the water can splash and burble and be pretty. Oops. I'm gonna have to repair a bit of the roof now. But that might give it enough headroom. Like down inside. Oh, fudge knuckles. For real? Okay. Carefully. <laughs> we'll put it back. Don't worry, intern. No panicking. We're good. We're good. Everything's good. Everything's fine. There we go. See? Now we've got this and we'll put the roof back on where people can be in the shade and, and out of all this chaos in just a minute. And you know what? What better way to get back into all this than diving in and getting straight to work trying to fix the giant chaotic mess that I make of everything. I think that's a, a good way to get back in the flow of things, if you ask me. Definitely a good way to get back in the flow of things. We need to make sure that is there. And actually, let's go ahead and put this glass fence right there. See? Now we're already contributing all sorts of improvements. Like, and we just got here, so it's wonderful, wonderful. All right, let's see if we can uh, continue with the safari path. Is that the right safari path? Yeah, that's the right safari path. There appear to be several to choose from, and they're all the same shade of this lovely dark red. Oh, I'm so glad to be back. To be honest, I really am. Even if I am making a giant mess of things already. All right, and then we need the little bridges so we can fix this roof. Um, and then what type was were we using? Aha! This one? No. It was, is it this one? No, that's bricks. We want the one that looks kind of like June. Yes, we found it. See, we can fix these little things in turn. And we are gonna make the most amazing safari like zone. Now, if you don't know in turn, just in case you may have forgotten after all the world traveling quest for a quest zoo that we have done, 
This is one of our old zoos, our endangered forest zoo that we used to work on, or endangered zones zoo that we used to work on. And we focus primarily on endangered species, but we also, oh, look at the spin. He's like, yeah, party on, dude, party on. He's got the camel t-shirt on. He's got the finnick hat on. I like his glasses. That's awesome. But yeah, so if you don't know, intern, this uh, zoo was primarily established to be the safari zone. We have multiple zones, several different zones. So it's not just this particular zone zoo. We have many other zones uh, that we have been working on building so that each zone can focus on certain types of biomes and certain types of animals. Thankfully, uh, we kind of we kind of intermingle. Like if it's a desert animal, then we add the desert animal. Um, to the area, even if it's from a different continent than some of the other animals. It's just kind of by biome, not by continent. Oh, Kiki is giving birth. I don't know who Kiki is, but how exciting! Alright, let's get a, little, a few of these little gold barrel cactuses down here. We'll make a little cactus garden. Why not? But this is the little relaxation cooling off area where... Oh, and now we need to move everybody back in! <laughs> So sorry everyone, so sorry. Apologies, apologies. Ice cream stand, you can go back here. Gift cart, please come in. These people really must enjoy being out of the heat as well. You can even move some of the picnic tables. I wonder if we have cuter picnic tables we can stick in there. Let's see if we have some nicer ones. So, you know, sometimes it's fine just to have some plain Jane ones. Also, we don't have a lot of money at this zoo, in case you noticed in turn. So we're gonna have to see about adopting out a few animals. Um... And I'm actually going to take out that rock, just to make it a little easier for our desert monitors to wiggle around. There we go. And let's find, I mean, we can make a little rock garden over here to get us started. Medium desert rock. Not enough headroom, that's fine. We can put some small ones in at least. Scooter has died of old age. Rest in peace, Scooter. I don't even remember who you were at this point. Uh, isn't that awful? Like, I try so hard to remember all of the animals that I can, but goodness, intern, I mean, we've been traveling the world for so long now on all of our quests. I, I must admit, I am very happy to be back. All right, so let's see what's going on over here. Some of you? No, 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 let's maybe put some of the desert grass down. Ooh, the green... Ringtail lemurs are dying of old age, so it seems that we're losing perhaps a first population of ringtail lemurs and we have rhinoceri which is kind of amazing we're gonna have to go look at our rhinoceros in just a bit i don't we haven't been here in in eons and turn it feels like years all right there we go see small improvements already little aloe vera garden feels like it needs another touch oh and our petting camel <laughs> i remember our petting camel black thorn bush maybe in the background oh yeah to kind of provide that little backdrop I see you're rolling your eyes, intern. Not even 15 minutes in and we're already working on plants, but you gotta make things look nice. What? Okay, the black rhinoceros has been re put in a crate. Why? Wow, you guys have a nice area. Here, you come over here. I'm gonna pop you out. And we're gonna go back and we're gonna continue our tour from where we are. Because it helps us to see what we might need to improve. Like, we, I know we have a safari path over here. I think that's actually to the horses, to the Arabian horses. So we might have uh, something put in here to connect the two. There, that's much nicer. Look at that awesome garden. Gotta admit, I'm pretty darn proud of that. Nice cat statue. Everything's nice and flattened and put back where it belongs. Let's go in and visit with the sand cats. They've got this wonderful enclosed area. Where people can kind of see them and they can kind of relax. Hello, Sand Kitty Cat! How are you? Yeah? It's been a long time since I've seen you. Oh, look at that. Oops, there we go. Look at that movement, that fur. Oh my gosh, is that the only Sand Cat? Nope, there's more. Oh, Chloe the Second! I remember you now! Oh, and they've got all their little toys and some food tucked around here. I wonder if they feel like they have enough privacy. Let's check and see if they feel like they have enough privacy for their area. Oh my 
gosh. Any second now. <gasps> She's giving birth. The sand cat is giving birth right now. We're being welcomed back to the safari zone with sand kittens. Oh my goodness. This is exciting. Oh, Chloe the second. I'm so excited. I thought she looked a little waddly. All right, we're just gonna settle right in here with her. How's she doing? Oh, look, babies. We babies, look at their ears. Ah, they're huge. Look at those huge little ears. They're so cute. Look at those kittens. They're just taking off. They know where they wanna go. That's amazing, and she's just like, okay, I'm good. Just gave birth. No biggie, we're good. Where's she going, I wonder? Oops, just walked in that water. Are you gonna lay down here, honey? Oh my! <gasps> wow! I didn't know she could do that! Man, she looks comfortable. Look at her, like a little regal queen surveying her area. You, ma'am are a lovely sand cat. Oh, what a welcome back home. Like, I guess it's one of our many, many homes. So two new sand cat kittens, that's exciting. People come look at my new sand cat kittens. It's so exciting. Good, no trash on the ground. Waste baskets are pretty empty. Zookeepers are running around. People are being educated. We'll have to see, oh, our bridge. I remember going through so many trials and tribulations to get this bridge built. Oh, and there's the Finnick Foxes. It has been so long. Let's pop out. Look at all the camels! Oh my goodness! That's right, we made this area huge! And we put jeeps in it! And horses! Here's our horses! Oh my goodness! I had totally forgotten how amazing we made this place, including, look at these caves with these flowers on them. And of course there's a little Finnick Fox just taking a snooze inside. Isn't this just so pretty? Oh my gosh, and there's baby camels everywhere! We're rich in baby camels! Talk about a huge camel herd. Let's fill this up. Jeez, we might have to add more hay spots for them. The horses are moving about, the Arabian horses. The Finnick foxes are running around and playing. There's so many of them. Oh my gosh, there's so many of them. We might have to adopt a few of them out. We'll have to look into that. Oh look, snoozy Finnick fox. Oh look at those ears. Between you and the sand cat, we've got big ears everywhere, buddy. Oh, there's Finnick foxes mating. Warthog is now pregnant, oh my goodness. Oh, intern. This is wonderful. This is this is just wonderful. We'll have to poke around at our Finnick Foxes. We are very, very low on money, so we might need to see if first things first we can send a few Finnick Foxes and camels off to um, off to other places. Especially because it appears many of them, they're enjoying this huge rock, look at them. But then they're getting a little bit stuck by it too. So maybe we should get rid of this large desert rock. Oh, and who's Pandora? My gosh, we're gonna have to find out all sorts of things. I'm so excited. There's so much more to explore. Let's grab a quick bite to eat and I will see you after lunch in turn and we will resume. Hi, Bubby. We will resume rediscovering our safari zone. Oh, I'm so excited. I'll see you in just a bit in turn. Bye-bye.